What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Career Mode. This is episode number 95. Oh my god, just a few more to episode 100. It's going to be awesome. But uh, you see the uh, league table here, 19 games played. We are one half through the season and we currently sit top with 52 points. Absolutely insane. We are 10 points above third place. That is crazy. I am definitely thinking this is going to be our season. I definitely believe that we are going to get Liverpool their first ever Premier League title. So that is awesome. But uh, here is a Youth Squad monthly report is, of course, the first of the month. And uh, some players are looking really good. Look at Felipe Marcano. I think I say this every single time, but oh my god, he is going to be insane. Cannot wait until he turns 16. Um, it, it sucks they don't have like a date of birth on their sort of... Um, their sort of player bio, if you know what I mean, on the right side, because if it did, you could tell when they're going to turn 16 and where you can promote them, because I don't know whether he's going to turn 16 this season or not, but um, anyway, I think I released this guy, he's, he's a giant, but um, unfortunately he's not very good, but um, anyway, here is a squad report, the Hayat 87, 87, what a deal that was to sign him from United, and uh, some of the players are looking really good, I think my entire first 11 is in the 80s now, which is great, um, oh no, Luke Shaw is in the 70s, because obviously he's playing at the moment, because uh, Fingermajig's injured, um, what's his name, uh, ah, ah, I can't think of his name, uh, who am I thinking of? Bale, Bale, that's it, uh, he's injured, but um, anyway, my, my first 11 that I'd normally play is over 80 anyway, but um, yeah, these players are looking absolutely insane, I've got so many young players as well, and uh, they're, they're progressing really nicely, but uh, I think it's Lee and uh, Hong, um, who are still really, really poor at the moment, I think I might release them, Cavani's up to a 90, just saw that for the first time, so Cavani and Bale, my two 90s now, that is awesome, Balotelli an 88, Sterling an 84, only 21 years old, but uh, anyway, a transfer offer comes in for Mika, it's a loan deal, West Brom want him on loan, I accepted the deal, uh, he hasn't played a single game since we signed him from um, Benfica I think it was um, and you know he's, he's been progressing in attributes so we're, we're basically going to look to make a profit on him um, I think we signed him for about 1.2 million we should be able to shift him on for about 3.5 so that would be an awesome profit but uh, anyway, uh, the first game of the episode and I think this might be the only game of the episode so if it is, sorry about that but uh, we take on Stoke City here at Anfield uh, Luke Shaw, the attacking left back comes forward here and plays the ball into Maxime Gon Alon's my skipper, and it's a great finish by the Frenchman as he smashes the ball past the Bosnian goalkeeper, Azmir Begovic. But uh, Stoke came through here, Viola, or Viola, not sure how you pronounce that, uh, gets taken down by Azmir Equator. I thought that was a good challenge by my Spanish right back, but uh, unfortunately the referee said no, that was a definite penalty, not entirely sure why. But uh, anyway, it was uh, Seb Larson who stood up against David De Gea here. Could Larson put the ball against, uh, put... Could he score? Yes, he could. You just saw. Uh, the hair dives the right way, but he can't save it. And uh, that makes it 1 1. But uh, just for the hour mark, Luke Shaw, once again, he's such a great left back, uh, especially for his age. Gets his second assist of the game. A brilliant cross in and Cavani's shot power. It seems to put a hole for Razmir Begovic's gloves. It just crosses the line before Begovic can claw it back out again. So the goal is given, and it is 2 1 to Liverpool. And a few minutes after that, El Qatari plays it to Belanda. Belanda finds Gondolon, who finds Jack Wilshire, who finds Cavani. Cavani finds Aspilicueta down the left hand side. He's getting pulled all over the place by Ryan Shaw cross, and uh, it's just so easy on for the win penalties, just just keep dribbling eventually if you're getting your shirt pulled you will get a penalty for it, so a penalty given, Edison Cavani is yet to miss ever since I gave him a penalty uh, kick duty uh, over a Eunice Belonda and Cavani doesn't miss here, nice finish past Begovic, that makes it 3-1 and that is how the game finishes so 2 for Cavani, 1 for my skipper in Maxime Gonlons, the game finishes 3-1 and a very good win against a very decent side, but uh, after that we do get a transfer offer uh, that comes in for Jack Wilson Wilshire, I think it is. Yes, it is. Jack Wilshire, who we signed in the summer. Barcelona wanted for 30 million, and I said, hell to the no. We signed him for about 24 million. He is unbelievable on this game. There is no way I'm letting him go. Uh, so I asked for 60 million just because I knew that Barcelona wouldn't come back for that. And, um, you know. Fair enough, really. Um, but anyway, the uh, next transfer offer is a loan deal, I do believe, for Jay Jun si uh, Shin, one of my South Korean right backs. It's Spurs, so we accept the deal. As always, guys, a big thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.